Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. I have an idea of doing a what I eat in a week for seven days. I'm going to be sharing what I eat. I'm kind of nervous, but also really excited because I feel like doing what I eat in a week, every day, every meal for seven days is really gonna be the reality of some days I'm so busy, barely am eating lunch. Some days I am ordering in because I'm lazy and obviously I'm always trying to be super on top of it and eat super healthy and clean, but you guys will see the phases I feel like throughout the week. So let me know if this is a video you guys like and what else you guys want to see. Also, congratulations on Wellness Month for everyone who joined. You guys have completed it after this video, so I think we should get into it, and bear with me. I am in a house with tons of people, so cook in the best way I can. Good morning. I'm first starting with my pumpkin spice coffee. This is going to wake me up, but also taste incredible. I have been doing this since the beginning of the holidays and it has been one of my favorite treats to start the day. I added some collagen and put it in my frother and now it's ready to go. Next, I'm having some celery juice. Yes, I do strictly celery, it's one stock, and I don't mind the taste, but if you wanted to add lemon, that'll help the bitterness. Post-workout, I'm making a mint chip smoothie. This is one of my favorites. I'll list all the ingredients below so you guys can know exact, but this is so tasty. If you like mint chip ice cream, this is one of my favorites. Now this is what it looks like to live with roommates. I have a lot of people on the phone in the kitchen, and so I'm in the little like outdoor room, and I'm blending my smoothie in here. <laughs> So I blended the smoothie, and then now I'm gonna lightly, lightly blend the cacao nibs. You kind of still want the crunch in there like it was mint chip ice cream, so I'm just gonna literally blend it for like two seconds and put two tablespoons of cacao nibs. For lunch, I'm doing a chickpea avocado sandwich. So I'm using gluten-free bread and just gonna mash up some chickpeas. This is a super easy recipe and I find it really tasty. I'm just gonna add some lemon and olive oil and some salt and pepper. Now I'm just using the chickpea as a spread, going to add a half of an avocado and some cucumber. As well as these sprouty things, I forget what they're called. And the specialty, a drizzle of honey. The bread is a little small, so I went back for a second and made a third piece. A couple of deep breaths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, are you kidding me? What? You hate potatoes. Yeah, right? Do you like french fries? Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a moment. Uh, I don't know if I've ever too. heard anyone ever tell me they don't like potatoes. I know, it's an empty card for me. After I'm done freaking out that Ree does not like potatoes, I am taking my jasmine sweet potatoes and making them into circles to stick them in the oven. Tonight I'm making an oven tray. It's one of the easiest ways to make a dinner when you just don't feel like cooking and you want it snappy and tasty. So I'm just seasoning it and then gonna cut up some Brussels sprouts, which are one of my favorite vegetables. Again, just seasoning it with some salt and pepper and some olive oil. 
that same tray, I'm going to add the chicken. I'm sorry if this is really gross. Um, and I'm gonna add it to the same tray with some seasoning. I like to use olive oil, garlic, salt, paprika. I'll list all the ingredients below. Your grill is tired, so I'm gonna just have a little bit of these Unreal M&M-like things. They're super good. And I'm gonna call it a night, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am trying this brand called Dose, where it has really clean, amazing ingredients. I'm also using a probiotic. This one is by the brand Sonia Dakar. I walked and got a matcha from the coffee shop next door and then decided to make my celery juice. Again, you can add lemon. I know you're supposed to have celery juice on an empty stomach, but I have to wait for my roommates to wake up before I blend. For breakfast, I was feeling something a little bit more heavy, so I decided to make some pancakes. You guys, pancakes are probably my favorite, favorite breakfast item. I don't make them enough, but I'm always trying different recipes to find the best one. And this one by far is my top two. adding the pancake mix to the pan, and then I also just chopped up some Hue Kitchen because I ran out of chocolate chips. Going to add some blueberries on top, and then I still felt like I might be hungry, so I added one egg on the side. For a snack, I'm going to have a poppy, which I'm trying to find my favorite flavor, and I can't seem to find it, so ginger lime will do. But I have talked about this drink over on my Instagram. You guys, this is one of my favorite drinks ever right now. It's a prebiotic soda. I'm also pouring one for JT, but it is amazing. It has ACV in it, which I've taken ACV since I was younger, and I feel like I stopped for a period, but it is so good for your gut, for your skin, uh, for your immune system. There's so many benefits to ACV. Um, also, this drink has has like zero pretty much I think it's like three grams of sugar which is insane um, but it's supposed to be like a soda so it has more flavor than a seltzer I'm absolutely obsessed with it my favorite flavor is the orange or the blueberry you guys have to try it and tag me if you do this is a lazy lunch for you I honestly ran out of time and was like i need to eat so i decided to make this alfredo mac and cheese it is vegan and then i just chopped up one of the chicken breasts that i had from the other night You can fast forward this part if it looks a little gross, but I'm adding the chicken into the egg and into the almond flour to almost bread the chicken a little bit more, and then going to put it into the pan. After I'm done letting the veggies cook, I'm going to mix them in with the chicken and add the sauce. Let me know how off of the mark you are. Where would you say out of 100 that you did? For your own judgment. <laughs> what do you mean? What would this be? One to 10. It would be a seven and a half, eight. And the only reason is because there, I need more salt. You gotta share. It's good. 
<laughs> I like it. What was that whole process you just went I was through? just trying to see what I was tasting. I need another bite to really know. Tastes like a healthy, sweet, and sour chicken, which is supposed to be. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's good. Sometimes recipes work, and that's amazing. Yours work a lot. Thanks, baby. All right, I'm out. Good morning. Just going through my morning routine. Got a quick workout in in the morning. Now time for some more celery juice. I actually have really enjoyed juicing. It kind of zens me out in the morning. I also made JT one, but has had a couple different ingredients involved. workout I was feeling something basic so I have my gluten-free bread and just going to make two eggs and some avocado to go onto my toast with a side of some fruit most of my go-to's when I first started my health and fitness journey. They're just so easy and you can plop a lot of things into a bowl and make it really tasty. So today I'm making a Mexican bowl where I'm just gonna add some beans, some rice, some peppers, and add it all into one with some ground turkey and some siete seasoning. just made this taco it usually would be a bowl but at the honey house we don't have like big bowls they only have small ones so I didn't think it would fit I added everything and kind of just put it all in one you could also put it into a tortilla I am moving quick today because I have my physical therapist coming over so I only have a little bit of time to eat this as well as only had a little time to cook so this was like a super fast dish which I love and then I'm probably gonna eat some of these siete tortilla chips with it and It looks amazing, you did a great job. Thank you. It's snack time and I'm just gonna have a rice cake with some rabbit raspberries and some cashew butter. Also decided to have a little dance party and grateful my friends decided to join in. dinner I went to one of my go-to's which is a fried rice. I started chopping the onions and of course they made me cry. But this is one of my go-to dishes. Super easy. I usually use broccoli but I accidentally forgot it so we're gonna use asparagus. Again it's a one-stop shop so I just put the chicken, some onion and adding some garlic and the asparagus. As far as the sauce, I kind of wing it. I put a couple of my favorite sauces together, so I'll list them in the description below, but really I just swirl it around and give it a couple taste tests. feeling some oats this morning which you guys know is my favorite pancakes and oatmeal are like my top two breakfast items this one's super easy just adding some seasoning as well as some mashed banana which really provides a great consistency I'm also using quick rolled oats I do find that they quick faster and I like the consistency of them as well then going to top it with some apple slices as well as coconut yogurt and some hemp seeds Thank you. 
for lunch, I made a tuna wrap. If you guys do not know, I love tuna. When I was pescatarian, I think I ate tuna too much. I love it. So I'm just adding one tablespoon of vegan mayo, salt and pepper, and some cucumber. You guys will see throughout the video, I use a lot of the same ingredients. I like to do that when I grocery shop, not buy too many different things and try to keep the same items included throughout the week. dinner I am making some pasta but I wanted to try some eggplant pasta as the base so I'm just going to chop up these eggplants but also make the pasta for JT because he would never go for this so I'm gonna make the eggplant stick them in the oven I'm gonna add some garlic salt some olive oil and then halfway through I will add some vegan cheese meanwhile I'm gonna stick the ground turkey in a pan and add some pasta sauce also, JT brought me wine because he knew we had a day, so blessed. So first time trying the eggplant pasta and honestly, it was really good. I was impressed. The cheese on it was definitely what it needed. And then I also made a little side for myself because I can't resist gluten-free pasta. For breakfast, JT brought me an egg sandwich after my workout and it had cheese on it so I had to peel it all off. But besides that, it had turkey sausage, tomato, and gluten-free toast and it was really good. All right, so uh, change of plans. Our sink has a plumbing issue and we're not allowed to cook and use the sink, so I can't have any water. So lunch has a change of plans. I went out and picked up some Mendocino. I definitely am eating out a lot today because JG brought me a breakfast sandwich, which was amazing. Now I'm having this, and then tonight I have dinner plans to get sushi with some girlfriends. So the day has changed, but that's okay. Just doing my best out here, so let's go. All right, so I'm actually headed to dinner tonight for a girl's dinner, the honeys that are in the house, in the honey house. So we're gonna go grab some sushi. So again, I usually don't eat out this much, but sushi is probably my number one favorite of ordering in or eating out. So I'll show you guys what I get and let's go. For dinner, we went to this really cute little sushi spot in Little Tokyo. Um, it was so yummy. I am such a sushi girl. So we really just got a lot of sashimi and basic sushi. Also, we found this really cool tree. It was like a wishing tree and everyone put their wishes on it. All right, loves, just got home from sushi, feeling really full, but I just started that time of the month. So I'm still craving something. So I just did the same thing, popcorn with some chocolate chips. Got it for JT and I, and it really just does it for me. It's the lesser evil popcorn, which is my all time favorite. So good. And now I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For breakfast, I decided to make some avocado toast yet again. Going to mash it up into a bowl this time and season it for my toast. I decided to also have something sweet, so on the other piece of toast, I decided to add some cashew butter as well as some honey. I then made another side of eggs because one egg was not enough for me, so I made two eggs and some raspberries. For lunch, we are rocking Mendocino again. I just got a garden type of salad. I think it's called the Harvest Bowl with a little side of soup. Mm -hmm. 
So tonight I am conquering salmon. I have been trying different salmon recipes because I really want to like grilled salmon. I haven't been a huge fan. So this is by far one of the best ones I've tried. It is kind of like a brown sugar salmon. So I'm just adding the seasoning into a bowl and then I'm going to massage it into the salmon as the seasoning. I also made some green beans. I boiled them first and then put some garlic on. Also, you guys, if you do not have an air fryer, I think you should get one. It is my best purchase yet. Tonight, we went for some vegan ice cream at Salt and Straw. I got mitten chip. It was unreal. Good morning and happy Sunday. Just made some basic coffee and now gonna go downstairs and make some oatmeal. I wanted something more sweet, so I made it a cacao chocolate oatmeal and just gonna top it off with some cashew butter, frozen blueberries. Don't hate it till you try it. On Sundays, it's a big day for take whatever you have in the fridge and try to eat it or blend it. So I'm making a smoothie of everything we kind of have left over. This was like a mango green smoothie and honestly tasted amazing. And we're having a early dinner tonight. So we decided to make some egg tacos. Again, just trying to get rid of everything that we have in our fridge that we don't want to go to waste. So I just ended up chopping up some zucchini and peppers and then adding some vegan cheese and putting it into a tortilla. All right, loves, that is the end of what I eat in a week. What a week that was. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed any of the recipes that I made. I'm always trying new things and experimenting. I feel like my biggest tips with this whole thing is to just find easy recipes that you can repeat that are quick and super yummy and nutritious. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.